When brackets were first released, everyone had their eye on one potential matchup. It would be a national championship rematch, only this time taking place in the Elite Eight. And with both teams winning their Sweet 16 matchups, Iowa and LSU now prepare for what could be women's basketball's most anticipated game in history. I'm really excited. I think it's great for women's sports. Um, obviously, this game's probably going to get a lot of views, probably even more than it did last year. But I'm really excited that both of our programs get to play against each other again because it's just going to be a great game. It feels great um, being able to display not only my talent on one of the biggest levels, but be able to play with my teammates and, and know that we're going to have each other back and, and play to our best ability. I think women's basketball has exploded and it's because of the good play. I, I just think people realize now you know how great our game is and I don't think I think we were playing really good basketball and it was hidden before it was like a hidden gem and now people know about it last year's national championship drew over 10 million viewers and tomorrow's rematch has a chance to break that and this is clear that the matchup between Iowa and LSU is a beacon shining a bright light on the growth and the importance of women's basketball yeah, I mean, last year we had 12 million people watching this, and I'm sure we're going to have high numbers again uh, for this game tomorrow night. But I think it's because you got two of the big, you know, the brightest stars in the game competing against each other. I think women's basketball fans know how special and cool this moment will be. I think the viewership numbers will sh will show that. But everybody's fighting to be able to play one more game, come back to practice with one another, and um, I think more than anything, it's it's just great for our game and. Um, I'm lucky to be a part of it. I've been playing Caitlin since we were in high school. Just a super competitive uh, relationship, being able to play against each other, and then last year the national championship, being able to just grow women's basketball and just being able to help the game is just something that we've just had, and there's no any, anything else than that. Tomorrow's Elite A game has a chance to go down in the history books and it will definitely continue the dialogue surrounding women's athletics. But the thing that both of these teams have in the front of their mind is how they're going to be able to punch their ticket to the Final Four once again and have another chance to raise an NCAA trophy. From the NCAA tournament in Albany, New York, Michael Merrick, DITV Sports.